happening now. Greenville is getting ready to host the NCAA basketball tournament games. They're happening next week. Not only will this be a really big deal for sports fans, but it's also huge for the local economy. 7 News anchor Ayla Ferrone is joining us from Greenville live with the latest on all the preparations. Ayla. While the last time Greenville was host to March Madness was back in 2017. Now those games will return next week to fill the Bon Secours Wellness Arena. Tip off for the NCAA tournament at the Bon Secours Wellness Arena is next Friday, but the impact on the community starts well before that. This is a chance for us to showcase what Greenville has to offer from from the beginning to the end. Billy Dunlap with Visit Greenville says hundreds of thousands of fans are expected to bring millions in economic revenue to the area. When you've got eight great college teams coming in and their fan bases, that's great for our hotels, that's great for our restaurants, that's great for our uh, attractions, shopping. The last time the well hosted the tournament was in 2017. Having this back is, is again really exciting um, for the town and for us and our staff and our fans. General Manager Beth Paul says having a large sporting event like this has a great impact. For us what it does directly is it creates jobs, um, it obviously creates revenue and it creates just um, you know some national awareness of the arena. And this tournament has even more meaning since the SEC women's tournament was the last big sporting event at the well before the pandemic. It's extra special and meaningful that um, we can do this after the pandemic. Having this kind of event makes all the difference in the world because it really gives us a sense of normalcy. And when Greenville and the well host big events like this, it of course launches us onto the national stage and when everything goes as planned, they like to come back. So the women's tournament will be held here next year and then the men will return in 2026. Live in Greenville, Ayla Ferrone, 7 News.